right, everybody, we are back again for another episode of Contact Sports. I am your host, as always, I'm the Dark Chance Glenn. Got Wallace with me. What's going on, Wallace? Hey, hey, how y'all doing out there? Well, we are ready to go with another uh, week, and, and boy, there's a lot that has happened. Oh, yes. Um, you know, we'll lead into some of the big stuff. Stuff we've been mm-hmm. waiting for for a long time. Um, mm-hmm. we'll get in that in the second second part of of the show. Um, but what we're gonna, you know, and also some things that kind of settled out with the uh, March Madness and with the end of March officially uh, happening and and in April. Mm-hmm. Coming through April Fool. You know, do you ever get caught on these uh April Fool stories that they that they put out? You know, yeah. sometimes they they do. I just call them lies. Yeah, they just, just lie. They just lie. Yeah, I don't get caught up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, and you know how people you know, never back in the day, day when we did April Fool, it, it basically you just lie and hope the person. Falls for it, and then you say April Fools, but it's just you just lying. Yeah, yeah. I've never been big on that. I, I don't like people lying to me anyway. Yeah, just call it a lie. That's all. But, yeah, it's just a lie. Because uh, I know, you know, I, I I keep up with all these superhero movies and all this stuff, and the you know the things that they try to get you with are things that sound near the truth, or perhaps something's happening, like. For example, you know that um, basically Warner Brothers kind of fired Henry Cavill, who's you know played Superman and, and Gal Gadot as mm. Wonder Woman. You know, or basically firing the, one of the worst firings ever. Yeah. So oh, so so the 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 and and Zack Snyder is the one who did the you know redid or did the Justice League. He had a family issue. I think his daughter died. They gave it over to somebody else. They made a pretty substandard Justice League movie. And then he came back and redid his original vision. And that's what everybody got excited about. And, you know, Dark Side is in there. And, you know, the characters were more true. So so here's the thing. So, so the story came out that, and this was the April Fool's story, that Netflix was going to pick up the Justice League and make two more movies off of Zack Snyder's vision, which would bring back Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, mm. and a whole, you know, original Justice League cast and make that those two more movies. Now, it's actually something that they should do. Because they could, you know, buy the rights to the characters and, you know, make the movie according to Zack Snyder's vision and everybody will watch because that Snyder cut Justice League was one of the most watched streaming uh, shows of all time. It like broke all kinds of records and stuff. So there was mo- there's money to be made. So I guess the people who did this article just played on that and and. Mm. That got out and got it's a this, and vicious lie. It's a vicious lie that, and that's why. So, so coming back to to the topics that we talk about, and I saw you say something about the uh, collective bargaining agreement um, in the in NBA. The yeah, and uh, what was it? It wasn't the. I know someone's also did. Did they also address the? Game number of games that players should play. Did I yeah, see I it was like sixty-five oh, games reports. minimum or something? Yeah. Oh, I mean, as reports, I haven't read the exact, you know, agreement, yeah. or or even if it is true. Or, but yeah. it sounds like it's true. I'm yeah. hearing reports that it's going to be. Uh, well, I know you got to have like they said something like you got to have like a uh, sixty-five games. Play yeah. to be eligible for award, right, award. right, right. Yeah, that's yes. Yeah. So I think that's I, saw. What I was looking at, but I don't see how that's gonna address. Uh, you know, do you think that address what's going on? Well, the, I mean, the lo- load management. I mean, okay. Well, think of it like this: 
the the impact load management has is really about the better players, right? The star players, because you want to see them play. You want to see them match up. You want to see them on television. You want to see them if you go to the arena, right? So those players are the ones that win the awards. And- How many awards is there, though? That many major awards to you know, what to, about most improved and, player and rookie? Not the rookie of the year, but you know, all all NBA, second, first, second, third team, all defensive team, all the you know, you could get down into you know the impact on fifty players probably easily, hmm. and. If those are the fifty better players, then then maybe you're impacting. How you much- see how many major awards they talking about? Yeah, are, are, are those major awards? Uh, uh, well, I, I tell you what, let's uh, you know over the course of either this next week or whatever, do some investigation into the, the, yeah, the right. details. We can come I back. Think they just touched on a see, like like silver does a lot. Just, Try to touch on something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but he don't go too deep into it or really try to address. Something. I mean, because he doesn't, he wouldn't want a lockout. I mean, obviously, but he would. He wants the the game to be better, and he wants to continue to maximize the profits and the, mm-hmm. the popularity uh-huh. of it. So he doesn't want a lockout. So he would try to address it early. I would think. Yeah, but I'm saying that's he likes to address the tip of stuff. Hmm. You know, just it don't really seem to me like that's gonna make a tent in uh what they doing. But if you're too strident, then the players might decide to strike, you know, and then now you gotta work stop it. So I mean if you're gonna say all right you have to play all eighty two games or what you know, whatever you would expect, um, you know, that's part of it. They don't want to shorten the season because that's lost revenue, you know. So it's it something to get these players to want to play. Yeah, that's the main thing. We're not thinking about strike. Who's going to strike? Or this and that. They got to get the players to play. But you know, that's a play. mindset. That's a part of a, a a culture and a generation. And I don't know if you just, you know, how do you get them to want to? I mean, you know what I mean? That's yeah. If you if you realize okay I can make all this money I can live the life I want to live have the fun I want to have and I don't have to play all eighty two games why why are you going to if that's not your mindset and I think that's just the way that the you know these these guys today are thinking I, you know, mo- most of them you know no not all of them are like that but most of them that's how they're thinking so you gotta do more than that though. Yeah. That's just, yeah, it's right about just that. stars just missing games. Yeah. It's not just stars. It's dang near everybody. Yeah, but the stars it's... are what matter. That's what matters to the game. That's what we complain about. What do, what do you care if Rick Johnson is, is playing against, you know, Elvin, you know, Smith? Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't, people you don't know, but, but when the stars are not playing and those matchup marquee matchups are not happening oh. and they can't sell the tickets, that's what uh, I mean. Because he just, you know, starting, yeah, yeah, starting at the top, you know, to work his way down. Yeah. And then that's, that's what he's doing because that's, you know, he's just trying to reach the top cream of the cream, cream yeah, of the crop. Yeah. Yeah. And, and my apologies to Elvin Smith and Rick Johnson, whoever you may be. Yeah. But, but you know, hey. Uh, Dr. Johnson. <laughs> Dr. J. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, anyway, I mean. They, Dr. Johnson. I said, Dr. Oh, oh, J. Doc, oh. I said Rock. Did I say Rock? Oh, you said Rocky Johnson. I said Rick Johnson and Rocky and Doctor. I don't know where yeah, you I was just thinking of Nick. Mm-hmm. Doctor um, Johnson. Dr. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um. So anyway, but but yeah, but even their average players might think that they could perhaps win some sort of award or uh, hmm. sports. What is it? Uh, isn't there like a 
Um, what I see what all they talking about? They said yeah. major yeah. awards. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. How many players are that actually gonna fit? Yeah. It's only like four, three. That's really in the MVP race. Even Tatum isn't even really in. So yeah, uh, you know, he, he would like to think that? that he could be in it, right? Yeah, but the, by mid-season, it was really only three people. Okay, well that's MVP. But what about if, if it impacts all NBA and you know uh, yeah, defensive you defensive about. player of the year and you know that's uh, like yeah, I said that's could end, end up at, you know impact and and again like I'm saying it's the top players that that would even apply to so that's what he's trying to address but you know we'll keep our eye on it we'll we'll, we'll find out some you know the yeah, yeah, specifics about it and then we can really that's- see. And plus, I like to see what their motivations were too. I mean, what was he really intending with that? And and then it was, you know, the other and uh, other part of it too. Um, you know, why you brought it up all together? You made a post and on Facebook. Um, what what was that about? I'm trying to remember the the other thing you were you were trying to do. I asked you whether I thought it was a was a, a April Fool's thing or not? Um, oh, you're talking about the you know the formation of super teams. Oh, preventing. I didn't need too much into that either. Yeah. Got to do some more studying. Yeah. You want to know if that was true? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll look like at it. Real. Seems like I haven't seen. It was no April Fool's joke. Yeah, and they said it was coming out of the new. You know, out of the new agreement. Yeah, but we're, you know, I, I take it all these like articles that are significant that come out on April first. I take yeah. all with a grain of salt until I follow up and for sure. Yeah, but they were talking about this before April first. Yeah, we talking about the new agreement. Yeah, uh, but I haven't read into it. All right, well, we will. But uh, well, with that, t- speaking of players, and I guess. Future NBA players, some of them at least, and that's the, uh, you know, the college players and March Madness is down mm-hmm. to the championship. Uh, mm-hmm. And you should be, you should be convinced at this point that there's no more points for you to get. Mm-hmm. And so at the currently, my number of points in our contact sports bracket and thanks to some of the other people and fans out there who played in the uh, in this, uh, but you know what really matters is me and you. <laughs> and oh, I, yeah. I you got me again. Yeah, two years in a row. Two years of dominance. That's, that's almost that's like a dynasty. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta listen to what you saying. You got to listen to what you just said. You, know, you can at least let me get it out before you challenge it. Yeah. This, that's never even let you get out because you just said how close it was and, and I must know that, that you're going to end up with more points. Well, wait so a minute. Not I dominant. Wait, 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 wait. You're reading into what I said. First of all, I didn't say nothing about how close it was. I won. I, I, I when we were talking last week, I knew I had won. You just didn't accept it, but so that's on you. So that you know, there's just no, there was no more points to get. I, you know, I, the, the score is 590 points to 560 points. That so that's dominant. Well, you know, that's, a third, that's a thirty point blowout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you lost like a that. game, if you lost a game by thirty points, are you gonna? Yeah, but it don't work like that with. Oh, okay, like, but let me tell you, this. you blew out Mark, our cousin Mark, yeah. by sixty points. Is that a blowout? He Not was, sure. He was, I was, he said, oh, you know what's really interesting? I hope he's listened to this show. You know, because at first he he has this bracket where he picked the Kentucky as the winner. Then he said, "Oh no, that wasn't my real bracket. My real bracket is the other one I put in, and that mm-hmm. one ended up oh, with no. fewer points than than that one." <laughs> mm-hmm. 
you know. Yeah, not as bad as Sean or other other yeah. brother who put yeah. in like yeah, his his jersey ball yeah. is group end up being at the like bottom at the bottom of our bracket. Yeah, I'm just saying he put in about six six different brackets. Yeah, and but the one that, and, uh, yeah, the one that he made official was at the bottom of our list. Um but anyway, um so you know the, like so as I was saying is that you know, that's like, you know, you start talking about a dynasty when you do a a, 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 re, a repeat. Oh, yeah. Well, on. I told you last week, I, all you did was like the same thing as you did the other, other time. That's why I keep... We've been doing this for so many years. And uh, I was being you pretty bad for a lot of years. Then all of a sudden, you came and won like two in a row. Oh, and but that see, made you, me what? That made me go, I said, okay. Let me start taking this series again mm -hmm. and watch college ball. Mm -hmm. And then I went on a, a run about three, three straight years. Okay, so so you you two things. First of all, you 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 told on yourself last week when you mm -hmm. said that. Because if you remember, we argued like, oh no, you hadn't beat me and blah blah blah. Then you admitted that not only I beat you last year, but then I beat you, you know, before, which made yeah, you step yeah, up your down. game. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. And I went back. I said, okay, I need to start watching college. So that's what I'm going to do next year. Yeah. Well, how come you didn't do that last year? Because I just, you know, it was just an uh, upset. Uh, uh, it was an upset, a fluke. Oh, it's a fluke. So, but now, it's so now you're saying this is a fluke. Row. You're saying that I am dominant and superior to you. Now you got to go back to the drawing board. I still can't say dominant. you got to rededicate your... There should be one of these montages like Rocky, you know, the training sequence. Mm -hmm. which you have but to that's do. what I'm going to be. That's virtually what I do. Dun, 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 what I'm going to do next year. Yeah. You have to, you know, like go back to, you know, to the basics. Yeah. Train. Or what Siberia yeah, yeah, yeah. We, with, with your snow, newspapers. Right the, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm be doing. Just picture me running in the snow and up here, <laughs> chopping wood. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm be doing. You might be in a, so you know, laughing and playing <laughs> in a gym with your uh, wife and you know, the you know your kids. Wait a minute now. now you're you're referring to the movie with Drago, right? And um yeah, that's how you I go wasn't laughing and all that too. You still, you know, hitting them steroids and everything else. He just Rocky just out trained him. But the other one I think is more meaningful was the clubber lang one. Remember, <laughs> you know, and yeah, he, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, oh okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's a better one where he, you know, Rocky got soft. Yeah, yeah. that's what I, I got that's what I had with me. Like, now it's time for me to go ahead and back and get back into it. Mm -hmm. But then he had to bring in uh, Apollo Creed. That's who trained him to his footwork. I don't need Apollo Creed. I I used to be a trainer anyway. <laughs> I don't need Creed. <laughs> even his son. I don't need his son. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> his, yeah. I don't even need his son. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen I haven't seen that second movie. I mean, not, that's not the second one. I guess it's the third one. Um, yeah, he's trying to make that money. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. I, I'll probably watch it somewhere. I heard it's pretty good. Uh, and now, apparently, Sylvester Stallone lost the rights to Rocky to somebody, hmm. and he and and uh, he wants to get it back, and then he'll be in sure selling, huh? You sure he didn't sell it? Uh, um, it yeah, it's some money play involved. It's not like he, he just got to lose, no, right? He, yeah, yeah. But um, in any case, all that's going on. I, you know, I kind of keep on keep up with a lot of movie related. You know, we probably ought to have an entertainment segment that's regular. Um, you know, because I could talk about you know a lot of these different type of things that are going on that people are interested in, and and. Um, even if you don't know the details about it, you'll know yeah. of it, and then we can... Yeah, that's what I mean. With movies, I know of them. I'm yeah. not no movie buff like you are. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call or myself a movie buff. buff because I don't go to a bunch of movies, but I keep up with what's going on in some of these things, a lot of these things, whether it's science fiction, superhero movies, action, adventure stuff, you know, and the people that send them, I kind of know what's happening with them. But that's that's the extent of it. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, so, so anyway, I, um, you know, you can prepare your official concession speech next oh, week. Yeah. Well, when I, when I finally see the final poll, then I'll have my speech. All right. Probably right. next we'll week. Speech. That's why I'm saying there wasn't no dominance like you was trying to say. Just so we don't even know who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you you should, if you actually look at the bracket and understand yeah. what's going on, you'll see it because you can't get any more points. All your teams are gone. Yeah, okay, I agree with that, but that's still saying it's not dominance. If it was dominance, I would already know how I lost. Matter of fact, I, I was beating you from wire to wire. I think you know, even those that it was dominance, of, we would even already that, know. That I would flurry already know. of uh, of upsets mm. and stuff like that. You know, I weathered it better than you did. Yeah, I came back and, but like I said, it's not dominance because I still don't know for sure if you even beat me. So we'll see oh, by uh, next week. Stop it! Stop it! That's not called dominance. That's dominance. That's but squeaking. And then what you gonna do if I win again next year? What are oh. you gonna? Say? What I'm, are you not gonna even say? About I'm not even concerned about that. And I probably want to retire. Oh, you know. No, I'm already putting together. <laughs> I'm already starting now to utilize, look at the patterns. But there's, the, flaw, there's the flaws in what you talked about a little bit. There's some flaws in your assessment yeah. moment of these players. Matter of fact, you were looking at Miami, right? Were you looking at Miami as as a, your canary in the coal mine? They was uh, only there in the final four. What's that? They was in the final four. Yeah, but they didn't. I mean, they didn't right. win. They didn't win. They, they not- still was in the final four. Team unknown team. You know, I should have stayed with. I should have went with who I was uh, thinking about to win it all. It's Connecticut. I was really thinking about it, but I yeah, yeah. had to go I ahead. Never with my... heard you say that. I do do the whole. I was thing. talking about Connecticut, but when we was making the thing, yeah. when we was making our thing, I was talking about Connecticut. And so, but uh, I was too. I was, I was too. Right. Yeah, you probably listened to I me say that too. talking about him. Yeah. You, you probably listened to me when I was talking. Well, and at the end of the day, as as they say. At the end of the day, victory is mine. Yeah, if I wouldn't have just, if I wouldn't have got suckered in by my uh, two teams, mm-hmm. you know, Alabama just, and Marquette. And, and that is your fatal flaw mm-hmm. that you end up with these Homer teams, and all they have to do is just look a little bit something, some team mm-hmm. you like, and you give them a more than. Credit than what they should have, and I, that was another. You did the same thing with Houston. Yeah, but Houston was number one for most of the season. Why would I not? I was number one too. They were ne- they were never well. They got number one maybe one, but they were they knocked them off when they were number one when Houston was number one. Yeah. But by um, the time the season ended, Alabama was number one. It was everybody's pick to win it all. Yeah. Well, but, uh, that's what got me. Yeah, if I would have really thought about it, I would have went on and stayed with Connecticut all the way instead of just the final yeah. four. All right. All right. You don't get to readjust after the fact and then try to use that to say what you – you don't get to. Sorry. Right. You got to just take your L, uh, do what you said, go and start training, study. We'll see, though. We'll maybe. see. I still haven't seen no fish or, you yeah. know. Yeah. Well, um, but you know, but and the last thing about the uh uh Oh about know, the game course. Monday night. Well, um yeah, well you know, the game versus San Diego State. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So San Diego State and um uh, 
Connecticut, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna predict that Connecticut's just gonna go on and win. They didn't got this far. They're a known commodity. They're you know it's like yeah, yeah. I, I'm going with it too. I'm, I'm not just because I not because they are known commodity or but San Diego State did not look good to me mm. at all when I watched them the other night mm. against a Florida Atlantic. Mm. They got lucky. And came back and won that. Mm. They just don't have a, any shooting, and they just no, how, how they win. Wait, wait, the, the way they won against Florida Atlantic, they were just over, you know, had more size, and they were strong. Everybody was built strong, and they oh. wore them down. All right, so yeah, you're saying that uh, you think um, UConn. A win, but not just because they're UConn, just because you didn't really right, like. I didn't like. I didn't like the way uh, uh, San Diego State looked. They just over overmatched a, a small, you know, small team, small mid major. Mm-hmm. Uh, overmatched them with strength, veteran players with you know been in a weight room. Yeah. They just clashed the boards. It was just offensive rebounds. They finally warmed down. I didn't see any talent mm. on San Diego State. Just you know, even that leading scorer, his shot didn't even look look good, look right. So I, 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 got, I'm just they saying, they got where they got now. Just you know, you're just uh, talking about they got where they got. They got their gig in the yeah, champ. But that sort of state of college basketball. Mm. All that's doing is showing the state of college basketball. So I'm just saying, my prediction: Connecticut is going to blow. It's going to be a blowout. Mm, okay. It's going to be at least uh, twenty. Yeah. I would say at least twenty point blowout. All right. So you're gonna if we did an over under on fifteen points, you're gonna take yeah. the. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's anything bet worthy because I because I I kind of feel like UConn's gonna win too. And if you know the wheels come off the wagon, you know how that ends up. You know it could be yeah. easily yeah. twenty points. Yeah, yeah, I just don't. I, I just don't like the. I don't like the state of college basketball. Mm. They just need to start keeping these to get any any better. I mean. Even guys now, you know, kind of little segue briefly talking about Bronny James. Um, hmm. I, I heard he's committed to Penn State. No, Ohio State. Are you sure? I saw, I saw something. That's where LeBron was going to go. Hmm. That's where LeBron was going to go. And they live in Ohio. So they thinking either that or, or he may just. Go to that G League. Hmm. Um. Okay. Well, I, I, maybe I saw. Maybe that was. That also, that could have been another. Uh. You know, yeah. April Fool's lie. Yeah. He, yeah. I never wasn't saying anything about Penn oh, State. Okay. Okay. Maybe was, Duke. I heard. But that, that was a lie because I saw. I definitely saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. No connections. But it, it, I heard Duke could be a second choice, mm. but then um, then it may be the G League. Yeah, but there's, there's a, a lot of players. Of, is, is, is he gonna end up being a, you know, a lottery pick? Uh, um, that's what I don't think. I don't. I don't understand that. Why some of these scouts, a couple of scouts, said that he could be a lottery pick yeah. next year. Um, I don't see saying that they projected him in as a top ten in the twenty twenty four draft. Yeah, I don't see it. I wouldn't want. I'll put it like this: If the Milwaukee Bucks, my team had a pick in a lottery right then, I'd be mad as hell if they wasted it on him. Mm. I just, you know, to put it in a nutshell, because he's not. He's somebody you could pick up in a second round. In yeah, the, yeah. Or the yeah, or or not not the not not the high school players that go to the G League, but I'm talking about the regular G League players. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just not the, you you want 
in a in a in a lottery pick, you want somebody that's either yeah. gonna change the fortunes of your team or yeah. in a missing piece that you know yeah, the talent. Yeah. The talent level can take you somewhere. Not you don't really wanna utilize a, a lottery pick on just a what is it role player type thing? Yeah. I mean who who would you favorably Compare them to uh, at this what? at this point. Even even if you look at potential, who would you? As far as what as a, as as a, a lottery a, team? Yeah, no, just as an NBA player, who could he best? Who uh, what, what could he pop out as? Like who, uh, uh, who's a great three and D player that you can uh, think of? I think, I think that's his ceiling is a great three and D player. Hmm. I, I feel that's his ceiling. So is he, I mean, it's a three point. He don't have you, but you clearly not talk about a talent level of a Steph Curry. So oh, it's, no, that, no, that, not that is the players that's, uh, they're known for defense, but they can stay out on the floor because yeah. they can, at least stretch the defense right. with a three-pointer. Right. They can, they can get now, out on the floor. Uh, who now, can at, at a generous 6-2. Yeah. Um, they say 6-3, but yeah. he's not 6-3. Well, let's say a generous 6-3 then. Uh, probably a solid 6-2. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who, who he could okay. match so- up defensively. Um, uh, limitation could, there. Could it be a true holiday? Mm. But he's not a that good. Holiday is known to be gritty and tough, and uh, I don't know if that's his yeah. thing. I mean, he's uh, not as big as Drew, and yeah. I don't think he's that known for defense. Yeah. He's just now starting to get a reputation for defense. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think about think. that. I, I nobody nobody just pops in my head. I was. I know. I'm trying to think of who's a. He don't who have the handles a, like a Irie who, Irvin. Anybody, you know. So it's no, not the talent he's not a point guard. Yeah, and he's not a scorer. At least Kyrie and Dame and uh, yeah. Steph, they aren't pure pure point guards either. But they're great scorers. He's not a Russell Westbrook either, right? I mean, no, he's not uh, that type of athlete with the ball, with right. the ball in his hands. Right. Russ was with the ball. Mm-hmm. Him and uh, Derrick Rose and yeah, you know, man, Derrick uh, Rose closer, but Rose is no, that, yeah. no, hell no, yeah, hell no. You remember Derrick Rose in high school? Yeah, and coming out of high school. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a three and D play. Yeah, I got it. I mean, and it's really thank goodness he's got the three because if he didn't have yeah, the three, we wouldn't it. even be talking about that. No, I'm not. He'll just be a defense, and I ain't really seen him shut nobody down either. They just saying he's a yeah, three. Yeah, I it. I mean, I I could be a deep. <laughs> if they just need somebody yeah. to defense, I'll, you know, yeah. the stretches. Like, yeah, he's not like really that. a – and that, okay, for example, when I was saying he ain't shut nobody down, I'm like, that, that point is a – I didn't put his name down, but he's one of the top point guards in this year's high school. He's mm. from the same area mm. as uh, Bronny out in California. Uh, he he signed with Duke. Mm-hmm. He's like the number one point guard. Yeah, I don't know who he is, but I'll take but that. anyway, they're in the same area, so they played four times against Ronnie's team. Okay, and they they beat them badly every time. Yeah, and see that's every another, time. That's another thing. If your talent yeah. is not great right. enough to have you win and dominate other teams and stuff, yeah, in championships and stuff at the high school level, yeah, you, you can't be talking about being a great pro. You're gonna, 
Yeah, you don't you lose a one the person point. four times. Mm-hmm. Four times, one person just keeps dominating you. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's four. Not, yeah. yeah, I get it. So, but I mean, I, but they, I don't see. okay, but if he's got a work ethic and all that, he could develop into yeah. to something that you know be a solid pro, pro player. Uh, that, yeah. that yeah. Anyway, I wouldn't waste it on my lottery pick. I wouldn't waste it on my on a lottery. That's my opinion. Unless LeBron said so, you know, Mm. must. Yeah, I mean, if you come with LeBron James on your team for a year, well, I know Mm. you wouldn't wouldn't want the Bucks. Would you want him there if you really going for a championship? I would want them there if I want to sell some tickets and have yeah, people talking you, about my team. But, but if I'm not, yeah. No but if team. we really going for a championship, uh, no, no, because no. he's not. Father Time is not making him reliable anymore. He can go out with an injury at any moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a story. It's a, you know, it's a story. It's a father son. It's a, a long, super longevity and effectiveness over all these years. You know, all that. And like I said, it's going to sell tickets. It's going to allow you to be the the, the the last stop of LeBron James, all that. But no, it's not going to get you a championship. But again, if I'm a business person, I'm looking at my team as a business, maybe for one or two years, maybe that's what I want to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's, I guess with a lottery team or yeah. something. But yeah. if does LeBron, but then you're going to have this question. Does he, want, does he, does he really want that? I think he's he wants the story of playing with his son. And that is never. Yeah, happened. but he's constantly trying to win another championship to cast Jordan. Does he have the time to waste like that? I think in his mind, he's already passed Jordan in his mind. Now I know he's still trying all that, but I yeah. think this is, this is would be bigger and it probably would also add to that myth- mythos hmm. that would help him do that. To sit, you know, and, and again, and, what's that? I said, well, he got wrong because yeah. he ain't passed Jordan. Yeah, and most but, other you know, people think that. You know that's... how people kind of throw it, start bringing into his personal life, and he haven't had any real drama, and he's been with you know his family man, and all this kind of they they build that into weave that into the story of a his greatness as a yeah. player somehow. Yeah, well, this would this would add to that side of the story. Yeah, I won't move him closer to Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, you ought to just accept his place in basketball lore and just, you know, ride his ride the wave instead of doing that. But anyway, plus, you know, he's he's you know trying to become a billionaire and be, you know, he already is. is there, has he crossed that threshold yet? Yeah, he, he crossed. Oh, okay, yeah. So you know, he's got that part part of his life too. So, um. Anyway, all right. Oh, I know that. That uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this segue. Speaking of billionaires or supposed billionaires and their troubles and trials and tribulations, <laughs> mm. our friend Donald Trump has mm. finally faced some music and some mm. justice. Right. Because, and the reason why I say face of justice, because over his entire 50 whatever year career of, of all the, you know, terrible things he's done in New York and his business, business, uh, uh, dealings and things of that nature, he's never been indicted, um, right. for yeah. the criminal indictment. And yeah. then, a president, any former president has never been indicted. Mm. And remember, he is a twice impeached, which was never done before. So you use that. Remember, you call him mm. un- unprecedented. Yeah. Well, he's 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 reached that that plateau again. Yeah. Funny part about it: all these first and first banding, but his supporters. Don't see, you know, nothing seemed to matter. 
Yeah. You know, like, twice impeached, first time arrested, for nothing bad. He can just, you know, it doesn't make sense. And think about it, because if they just say, well, this is just a political witch hunt and the Democrats cool. were hound and how, well, how come this hasn't happened to other Republican presidents? If that's cool. what, what Democrats do, which is not the case, but you know, if that's what they're saying, why is it, why is it working so well on him? You know, right. and why haven't as, as much as they was on Obama mm-hmm. and, you know, and even Biden, but especially Obama and, and Clinton, mm-hmm. why why wasn't they charged with crimes? Mm-hmm. Right. The reason why because they don't commit crime, they don't go out there committing crime. Right, that's right. why. They, you, know, you, don't <laughs> think about, you don't think Obama would have done anything? They wouldn't have tried to charge him. Of course, of course, you know. Come and, on. And, and so, what's so bad? He even gets his lawyers to commit crimes and get them in mm. real legal jeopardy as well, mm. and then toss them, toss them to the to the to the wolves. Yeah, like endless. It's like an endless. Uh, what do you call it? Parade. Uh, uh, yeah, just endless cycle of yeah. yeah endless cycle. Lawyer come in, lawyer gets indicted, new lawyer comes in. New, it's just. Endless. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take on no case. Well, think think yeah. about it. Let, let's talk. Let's let's stay on that point for a second. What you just said, because any, uh, you know, just normal. Uh, them, you know, a, a, a regular thinking attorney would not even engage in a case with him because they know they know the stories. They know how he is. He won't keep his mouth shut. He, he tries to get you to do all these things. Right. So, so think about the people that then say, all right, I'm going to be the one I'm going to get in uh, involved. Yeah. They're either charlatans themselves, mediocre attorneys, yeah. somebody just... trying to just get yeah, and they don't even know they're going to get paid either. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And he's known. And he's known for that. So, yeah, that's what and, I'm talking about. so the people who decide they're going to take off the the take on these cases, they got they got some issues themselves coming yeah. in the door. And then, yeah. then in I order think... to keep playing ball with him, he's going to make you do things yeah. that, that don't. Hey, you know what it is, want. though. Mm. I think they leverage, they leverage the public. It's just like with anything in business, yeah. right? Yeah. With advertising, yeah, you yeah. leverage, the, you leverage the publicity yeah. over the actual money at the time. Yeah, and and actually, that is a a calculus that that yeah. uh, some know, take on and say, all right, well, look, I know he's yeah. not going to pay us, but. Nah, nah. plastered all over the news. Our name. Yeah, you, now you all over. You know nationally. Yep. Look at that. Parlay lady. that in into. Huh? I say they they probably think they can parlay that into regular yeah. appearances on shows and. That's what they do. And then the yeah. client. What about the lady in the documents case? Yeah. The young young lady mm-hmm. who, who almost got in trouble. Mm-hmm. Remember the. the Corcoran or the Corcoran, the may uh the major lawyer, yeah. he uh he got her to say that she what was that you know about the documents. Yeah, yeah, I know that either where whether they uh he got her. They, he got they, her to say that she got it. Yeah, that, she, that that they searched that they searched thoroughly and there was nothing. Yeah, she bad. said that, but yeah. he wouldn't yeah. even sign it. Right, he got her to sign the document because he knew that they had, and he knew that there were more. And what they're finding out now is that Trump made them tell them that even when he was keeping some, and they knew he was keeping. Yeah, yeah it was a crime. Yeah, yeah. Man. My point was that she she was young, young lady lawyer, so she just you know took a gamble getting that publicity, mm. and she's lucky she didn't get in no trouble. But now she's known. Mm-hmm. She's known, yeah, or wasn't yeah, it? yeah, and probably will appear on shows yeah. and things of that nature. So yeah, it is. It is that 